My name is Beverly, I come from Argentina. I represent the Jubilee South movement on debt. Uh, and I want to say that I think there is some concern and it's important to have that concern present. Certainly, those who are here in the assembly, we are here because we want to build another world. We are here because we want to coordinate better our actions and our strategies. But it's also clear amongst us that we do not know if indeed we share a common vision of that other world and how to get there. So if you begin by saying we will not discuss the contents, then I think it is not wise that we seek to say here that together we will build a platform. I think perhaps it is a better suggestion to say that we leave this assembly with the goal of mobilizing around the world, of building together that uh, vision and of building a strong resistance in Durban, in Rio plus 20, to what is the agenda of corporate capitalism, to what is the agenda of climate destruction, to what is the agenda of social destruction that we know is putting forth there. But perhaps today we need to leave more open uh, the decisions of the Assembly, recognizing that at other places in this very moment, the Assembly of Social Movements is also discussing. So I think just to avoid um, maybe confusion also, uh, to let's be more open. We can chart a path and we know we have a lot of work to build it together. I hear Beverly, I hear Beverly, but I think it's important to also hear the words that were used and that was to build platforms so that everybody who is involved in building towards this can contribute their aspects to what has been, what has been said. I am going to have two more speakers on this and then I'm closing the floor. I agreed with both what Beverly said and what was said by the organizers. I think we can agree that we can work, we can begin a dialogue together toward, I would hope, some common agreements both on the governance model that Pablo talked about and also on what a green economy is. That doesn't mean we, we finalize a decision now, absolutely not. It absolutely does not mean that anybody surrenders their positions on something, absolutely not. But uh, the dialogue should begin now. But I think it might be helpful if we actually heard all of the proposals from this discussion at the same time so we'd have a better sense of, of the direction in which uh, you're taking us. If you could just, before we comment, if you could just list all of the points you'd like to make, then we have a better sense of where we're going. I mean, j just on the same thing, um, I think it's great to talk about platforms, and a platform we urgently need is a platform on constructing an alternative mindset. And within that alternative mindset, an alternative paradigm, as Pablo said, we need an alternative idea of development. There is space for a lot of solutions, community-based solutions from all over the world. The problem is, when we talk about governance, governance system policy systematically tends to oversee the solutions and the creativity of people on the ground. We have to bring all this together and we have to show it in Rio. There has to be a huge forum of we do the difference, it's not you. Examples and best practices from all over the world. I'm working with the Common Strategy Group and I would love to be part of constructing that platform towards a new mindset. I think it's important to correct a, um, the wording of um, Pat. I am not, what I have 
What I am reading to you are the proposals that the speakers made. I just made it into a summary. There isn't a special blueprint of proposals here. So I am asking that we construct the outcome of this meeting. And so we took what you proposed and we're reading it back to you. So the first one was the roadmap, a roadmap of mobilization from here right through to Rio using different moments. The second one was to construct in a careful way and to use the words of one of the speakers, conscious of our differences, conscious of our different platforms, a common agenda, common platform. Respecting the independence of each of the players, each of the movements and not overlooking that. Those were the words that some of you used. The next point was to build a, a coordination. We don't have an answer. We have three points of coordination at the moment. COP17, the South African group is one such a group and they said very clearly it is a, a committee under construction. It is not yet a fully pledged committee. There is a committee in Brazil who also said it's a committee under construction. It requires more people. And the last committee was the one in Bolivia. Those are the three points of coordination that exist at the moment. Now we need to ask ourselves, do we extend that? Do we keep it as it is? And do we let the movements begin to add to that? Because there is a caution about how we construct such a coordination. I, I am suggesting that we um, pause and spend a moment on that. The last point, I think, was the proposal that came from Vishwas that we um, request or that we demand a Cochabamba 2 now to help us to gather momentum and the third proposal or the other proposal that came was that we initiate a global electronic referendum that gets participation across the world for people to construct a platform of what could be in um, the demands that's been made. These are the proposal that's come from the floor. Well, we need also to choose who will be the representative of this uh, assembly uh, into the assembly, the general, the assembly of the assemblies tomorrow. And the assembly of the social movements. Uh, that's very good. Right to the roadmap, uh, I fully agree. And from the roadmap, what was mentioned is that we have already three points, the Cochabamba, the Durban, and the Rio Plus 20 in Rio as, uh, let's say, uh, points to, be, to, to build bridges and therefore to organize ourselves. Both Durban and Cochabamba are obviously very much related to the climate change, but as was mentioned here, Rio Plus 20 is much more beyond climate change. It's, it's about human rights, it's about uh, uh, food production, it's about uh, indigenous people, it's about biodiversity, it's about governance and power, who makes the decision within the UN. And I am sure there are other constituencies, civil society constituencies, that could not afford to be here at the World Social Forum, that are already engaged with the Real Plus 20 process. So let's start with our coordinating scheme with those three points, but let's be pluralistic, like Yara said, and be open to include other constituencies uh, uh, and make bridges with other constituencies that are dealing with very important issues as well.